One of the most dangerous places. Accidents can always happen, especially if you are fat, overweight, obese, or over fat. May become pregnant, are already pregnant, have kidney or liver problems, or if you merely just have less brain cells than anyone else. Spills, poisoning, and fire are very common in the lab, but can be prevented if the proper precautions are taken. Safety should always come first. This video will show you how to behave in real life situations and what you should do in case of a dire emergency. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Fire and chemical safety do's and don'ts in the chemistry lab. On the way to test the scent of a chemical, Jen is demonstrating the incorrect way. She takes the bottle directly to her nostrils, inhales deeply, and does appear to be a bit tipsy. This is the proper way to smell a chemical. Jen is going to take her hand in a circling motion. This is called the wafting technique. It catches the fumes without the poison. Chemical and less instructed to do so, especially if it is tea not made in England. <laughs> Also, if you see someone that appears to be harmed, Hello? do not ignore them and walk away. Ingested. Take notice. Note which chemical it was and how it was ingested. Then immediately contact your instructor. Tell them the situation and exactly what happened. They will know what to do. If necessary, they will contact their poison control. The situation will be taken from there. It is accidentally spilled in the lab. Do not ignore the problem. It could be a fatal wound. So with the chemical spill, What should I do? Oh, that's all right. Just hose her off. Make sure you take all affected clothing off before hosing. Make sure you are rinsed thoroughly and all remnants of chemicals are rinsed off. Don't be a pig. Leave your own mess for someone else to clean up. <laughs> clean up your own bloody what? mess. I spilled. It will prevent others from being harmed. Ignites in the lab. Do not waste time blowing it out. Put a watch glass over it immediately. This will deprive the fire of oxygen. Therefore, it will go out. A fire outside of the beaker. Do not put it out with your hand. Instead, put a beaker over it to cut off the oxygen again, just like the watch glass. in the lab, don't put water on it. Get the fire extinguisher immediately. Aim it at the base of the fire. If the fire is too large to manage in the building, contact the fire police immediately and evacuate the building. <laughs> because it is never safe to intentionally light someone on fire, we are using action figures in the next set of scenes to show the proper safety precautions. This is what happens 
when you do not tie your long hair or beard back in the chemistry lab. Fasten ignites in the chemistry lab. Cover them immediately with a fire blanket. Make sure not to cover their head so they don't suffocate. As you can see, the chemistry lab can be a very hazardous environment. Through this video, you should have learned the proper way to deal with accidents and dire emergencies. We hope we enlightened you through the video, Fire, Fire and, and Chemical, chemical Safety, safety Do's and Don'ts in the Chemistry Lab. lab. Overweight, obese, over two million pounds. That's dumb. She is accidentally spilled. <laughs> when a chemical is accidentally spilled in the lab. <laughs> with the chemical spill. Whoa. Whoa. Teacher, I spilled it on her. What should I do? Oh, that's okay. Just hose her off. Get on the floor. Lab. Don't put water on it. Instead, immediately aim the fire extinguisher at the fire. If the fire is too hot <laughs> in the building, call the fire department and evacuate the building. It's on fire in the lab. Put the safety blanket over them. Be careful not to cover their head so they don't suffocate. Oh my gosh. That, that was, was so really good. bad. We got to do that.